Okay, we're somehow in a straight line. Never mind. <laughs> oh, 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 no, oh, no, oh, no. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. In today's episode, we're going to be checking out this awesome little mini car uh, that goes by the name of Mini Stock. And I'm going to be real with you guys. When I saw this thing uh, on the repository, at first I thought it was a mod for the pigeon. Uh, because, you know, from, from a certain angle, it does kind of look uh, kind of like a pigeon. But no, uh, this is a completely custom mod uh, for Beam NG Drive. So we have a new car uh, to test out in this game, and I am excited. And it comes with a lot of different variants uh, as well. Different uh, different paint schemes because it is a race car uh, after all. But then we have some more interesting variants uh, down here. We have a drag version. We have an asphalt and a dirt version and then a welded version. I don't exactly know what that means, uh, but it's cool. Nonetheless, we got the I think we have the uh, the asphalt one uh, here since we are at West Coast USA. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Yes, great noise from this thing and see how fast it actually goes. I imagine it's probably going to be uh, pretty zippy and you know what? It really is. It really is. It gets up and goes. Now, I imagine this is like one step above a... Oh! <laughs> eh, who needs that wheel anyway? But okay, I guess I do because I uh, I can't drive anymore. Anyway, I imagine this is probably one step ahead of a go-kart. It's Just think of it like a very, very... Uh, souped up go-kart it even has like the rails on the outside i don't know maybe that's why it reminds me of a go-kart but uh that's just the first thing i imagine and this yeah this thing's pretty quick 100 miles an hour easily we're gonna ramp ourselves <laughs> over traffic and uh bang our head a little bit on the bridge but uh we're still alive we can kick this thing around and it'll still drive no problem whatsoever let's actually ch uh, see the first person mode here yes can't see that much, but I, I think I have a vague memory of going to the, the local track, local dirt track when I was probably like 10 years old uh, and seeing cars like this racing around and whenever one, of the, whenever one of them would crash, they'd just go tumbling through the air, do like seven flips and the guy would just walk out uh, all fine. It was a ton of fun. I don't know if they still do that sort of thing. Oh, God. <laughs> Look how tiny it is. That's actually a pretty big engine to fit in this tiny thing. Uh, the, the front tires are almost touching the back tires uh, at this point. But yeah, this thing's actually packing some pretty serious horsepower under the hood there. Look at that. I don't know what engine that is or if it's like a completely original engine made for this. But uh, either way, it gets this thing absolutely cruising. And remember, this isn't the fastest version of this car either. We still got a drag version. Uh, that we could check out. I'm just kind of driving around cruising around in this thing. It actually handles very well. I mean, I guess that makes sense. It's, sense. it's turning radius is like three feet. Hold on. Maybe not even that much. I don't know. It's not a lot though. Definitely not a lot. Uh, just because of how tiny this thing is. Obviously, you can only get one person in this thing because, you know, it's a, it's a race car. Uh, what's the actual name of these things? I feel like mini stock isn't what they're, they're actually called. Or maybe there's like a nickname that they have that I... Uh, grew up with but I don't remember that name. Maybe I'm maybe I'm thinking wrong uh, But that's that's actually what I remember. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out some of these other variants here uh, We got this one kind of looks kind of funny the 09 G. We got the yes materials We got the we got the 72 Z. I guess these are just team names, uh, but we also have the drag one now I <laughs> I kind of want to try this one out. I imagine it's probably gonna be pretty scary, but that's okay. Oh god <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. We might need a little bit, a little bit more room, a little bit more road. Ow! Excuse me, sir. Oh, come on, dude. What are you doing? Uh, we might need a little bit more room, so we should try to make our way. Oh, okay, okay. This is quick. We should try to make our way uh, to the highway, or maybe even the drag strip. Uh, but there's probably no traffic at the drabs, drag strip. We want to actually run into somebody if we're going to go 200 miles an hour. Jesus, this thing gets up and goes. Holy crap. I think you got a tire out the uh, up in the air after that one. Can I not go over this curb? Just barely. Okay, so let's get our way, make our way over to the, <laughs> the highway a little bit faster than I probably should be going. And I cannot avoid that crash and just absolutely obliterate the front of that Grand Marshal. Okay, you know what? We're going to cheat a little bit. Uh, we're just going to spawn ourselves way the heck down here. 
uh, facing traffic, obviously, because we want to. We want to test our luck, play the, the craziest game of chicken uh, there ever was. So let's go ahead and spawn this thing back up right there. There we go. It's <laughs> half the size it was, but that's okay. And it uh, looks like we have a forklift attached to the back or something. I don't know. Okay. Just get it under control there, buddy. Yes, there we go. Already 150 miles an hour. Oh, my goodness gracious. And it's hard to control. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. And we're flying through the air. Yeah. So <laughs> once you get this thing going, it becomes just a tad bit uh, hard to control. I imagine if I, I wasn't even flooring it right at the beginning. I imagine if I floor this, we are going to end up uh, upside down. Let's just see here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a wild one. That's for sure. Okay, let's just maybe 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 uh, feather it into the dang it. I keep hitting the traffic. I mean, I wanted to do that, but I want to get up to I want to see how fast this thing can actually go first. So I'm going to kind of feather it up, feather the throttle up here. There we go. Okay, let's not run into traffic head on at 150 miles an hour. That would probably not be good and I can't control this. I literally cannot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm gonna try one more time. If not, I'll just go to the actual drag strip because then there's less obstacles in our way because I do want to see how fast this thing will actually go. I imagine it'll probably go 200 uh, fairly easily. There we go. There we go. Just keep it steady. Keep it steady. Keep it steady. Keep it steady. One, eight, no! And then we just we just lose all traction uh, at some point. That's just, it's just what happens with this thing, apparently. All right, okay. <laughs> Ice corkscrew. Oh, and we're tumbling. We're tumbling a lot. Okay, okay. So let's uh, let's go ahead and find the drag strip. It's over here, isn't it? I always, I can never remember. There it is, right there. I was right on top of it. Okay, so maybe we can actually keep this thing in a straight line at least long enough uh, to do a drag a uh, race here. So here we go and get it going. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to happen uh, at some point. What are you guys doing on the track, man? Absolute idiots, I tell you what. All right, let's try that again. I may have given it a little bit too much gas there. There we go. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. It, it kicks you to the side uh, once you get going. So you watch, 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 and yep. Oh, there we go. Okay, I actually uh, held it that time, at least for a second. Ugh. <laughs> oh, we lost a wheel at some point. We're still gaining speed, though. We're still gaining speed. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to hit this ramp. Oh! <laughs> and we're going to hook ourselves <sighs> around a tree. Okay, you know what? Last chance. Here we go. This is it. This is the one. And gun it. Not too much, though. Not too much. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Just a little bit out of shape. We're not going to worry about it. We're not going to worry about it. Okay, go, go, go. There's across the line right there. Okay, we're somehow in a straight line. Never mind. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I jinxed myself on that one. Anyway, that is the drag version. So you know what? We're next to it, so we might as well do a lap uh, on the racetrack here. So let's get a... Let's get a nice shiny new car here with a good paint job. Let's find uh, which one fits Neological the most. I, I My gut's telling me the 09G uh, just because I love that paint job, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. The deep purple, very 90s uh, aesthetic here. So here we go. More manageable speed here. Not the fastest race car you're ever going to drive, but, you know, it gets the job done. Definitely gets the job done. I think we can maybe hit 100 miles an hour if we're... <laughs> If we're persistent, uh, but uh, yeah, this is good. This is more my speed. I this is I don't really drive that uh, crazy in real life, so this uh, this fits me uh, pretty well. Let's see how it handles this turn here at 70 miles an hour. Very, very manageable, I think. Oh, it's having a little trouble, but it's okay. It's okay. We're not gonna worry about. It. We got some idiots on the track. Apparently, I guess they don't have to pay for to get into the racetrack because there's anybody showing up in their their cargo vans and old <laughs> old American cars, whatever. We're not going to worry about it. I brought an actual race car to the track and it's uh, it's jammed up with these idiots, but uh, 
you know, I turned on the traffic, so I guess it's my fault. So I can just run into anybody I want. There we go. <laughs> you know, actually, if you hit somebody head on with this thing, it's probably not going to do uh, really that much damage to this thing. I mean, it is uh, open wheel, but at the same time, they're, they're kind of protected. Uh, I think I did bend one of them out of shape. I'm going to let go, and it just immediately turns to the left. <laughs> <laughs> the D-Series uh, deserved it, though. He came out of freaking nowhere. But yeah, I guess all that's really left to do with this thing is to take it to the car jump arena and see how far she can fly. Really, I just want to see the drag one go, but we'll try uh, We'll try some other ones as well. All right, so we'll try a regular one first. Uh, the asphalt one was actually, I think, faster than the race variant for, uh, for whatever reason. I'm not really sure uh, why, but let's spawn this one up. And uh, see how far it can go. Hopefully, I mean, I mean, with the hill here, I think we might be able to get up to speeds uh, exceeding maybe 150 miles an hour. Because uh, I got up to 100 pretty easily in this thing on a flat surface. So I think we'll actually get, get going pretty quick here. There we go. 100 miles an hour easily. And the giant fin's going to help. But it looks like we're actually going to top out of 117. The engine just won't go higher than that. So we're barely going to... Oh, wow. A perfect launch, actually. We barely made it over the, the top of the hill. And there goes the engine. I knew it was coming. But now we have literally no damage. And now we can just drive directly into the pool. There we go. With the fin kind of like a shark out the top of the pool. Very, uh, very strange, but yeah, we did it. All the brakes are on fire, apparently. <laughs> yeah, that's, I don't know what I expected with that one. All right, so, of course, we got to try uh, the drag version here. Now, this might be a little bit of a challenge to actually keep this thing in a straight line long enough to get a solid launch here. Uh, we're going to try our best. Just keep it in a straight line, car. That's all I ask of you. There we go. 180 almost 200 miles an hour but it looks like we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna start corkscrewing almost made it to 4.3 we're just gonna land flat on our back there but uh, I think we're still gonna make it to the pool just barely I don't even know if that would technically count as making it to the pool let's actually try that again I feel like I can get a little bit more speed uh, out of this thing if I am careful here that's not careful that's not careful. That's not what I wanted, but you know, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to leave sideways. Yep. <laughs> yep. We're going to do a sick kickflip, though, and land right on our behind. And we are just going to tumble all the way down. <laughs> oh, and we're going to explode as well. Yikes. Quite the violent tumble. Okay, let's, I'm going to keep trying this. I know we can get it. Just got to keep it. In a, this is the critical part. Once you get going fast enough, it doesn't really become a problem. It's just when you're when you're getting up to speed. There we go. Okay, this one feels pretty good. 200 miles an hour. There we go. That should get us a little farther here. We landed uh, about 430. That's going to get us past the 450 mark easily. There we go. The s wow, the sand just really slowed us down. It's really uh, effective on this thing. Usually cars just kind of skip right over the sand. Uh, but for whatever reason, this one's getting caught in the trap. Let's try this one more time here. I know I keep saying that, but I, it's it's addicting, man. It's hard to put down. Uh, let's try this one more time. Keep it straight. There we go. This is a, oh, this is a really good one. Really, really good. Two oh, 210 miles an hour, I believe. And that's going to get us again past almost 270 or 470 there completely flatten the side of this thing but now we're finally gonna kick our way into the pool uh so yeah oh we got a tire a rogue tire oh no it's back in the pool as it should be anyway guys that is the mini stock uh i'll have a link down below if you want to check this thing out for yourself a very very odd but awesome little mod and it's adorable and it i i don't know there's a lot of fun things you can do this i would like to see a racing scenario with this thing and maybe a dirt track or something that would be cool. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> BMG physics. They're so revolutionary, but you still get stuff like this. That's uh that's just great. Anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Beam NG Drive. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. See ya!